unwanted behavior in your dog can make things very difficult for you. So in today's video, we're going to talk about one of the most universal dog toys that can help you transform your dog from an angry menace to a lovable lap dog once and for all. So in today's video, like I said, we're going to be talking about the Kong, the Kong Classic and the other various ones they have as well. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to Min Pin Nation. Nate here once again with you, and I'm so glad that you're here with us. Okay, so it has been a crazy week for me, as I'm sure it has been for you guys. I got kids started their virtual school this week, which all the parents out there, if you're doing something like this, man, that's hard work. So let me know in the comments if you're doing something like that. But man, so I, it's been busy, it's been crazy, but I wanted to make sure that we got a video out and you know, this is the favorite part of the week for me is whenever these videos go up and I receive all the um, input back from you guys. So once again, thanks for all the subscribers out there. And if you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing because here on this channel, we talk about the men pin breed. We talk about the training. We talk about different ways to deal with behavior issues. Um, so make sure you check out all our videos across the channel. And like I said, make sure to give a subscribe below. So like we talked about, we're going to talk about the Kong. And so we're going to talk about some of the uses and we're going to talk about, um, you know how you can use the Kong to help take care of some of those issues and then we're going to talk a little bit about how you can fill fill the Kong um, with different things and how you can go about using it. Okay so just a little bit to talk about the Kong. If you've never, if you've never heard of the, uh, the Kong toy, it's a toy that's been around for a long time and it's really a basic toy here. You can kind of see one here. This is the smaller version that we really use for Zoe because she's our smaller uh, smaller min pin. Uh, we got Blitz here joining us today and he uses a, a bigger one normally. Um, but yeah, they say most min pins would probably use more of the smaller ones, um, but you can use really any of the sizes depending on you know, what uh, type of min pin you do have. But they really are just, you know, they have this hole inside here and you can usually use them, you know, they are rubber, they can be chewed, but mostly people use them to fill stuff with, right? And what it's been shown with these things is that you can fill them with various um, treats and um, other things. We'll talk a little bit about that in a few minutes. But some of the benefits that you can get is it's a very mind intensive and really physically intensive um, exercise for your dog. And so a lot of people have found much success including myself, with doing different things with them. Um, so if you're you know, potty training um, a new puppy, or maybe even potty training you know, an older dog that's coming into your, uh, into your house, using one of these and you're filling it up and you put them inside, you know, usually with the crate training. Um, and we did a video about crate training. If you haven't seen that one yet, we'll make sure to link it above here. But that's something that you can use. And the key point behind it is it's something that's gonna help them feel more comfortable in the crate. Now most min pins also um, suffer from um, separation anxiety. Um, sorry, gosh. Whew. Separation anxiety. And so with separation anxiety, going into like a crate will make them more nervous. Well, this is one of the most usually rewarding things, and especially if you um, use the Kong for that purpose and you don't really give it to them outside of that, kind of like most training, they'll be so excited for that. So putting it in there and you fill it up you know, nice and tight and you give it to them and that's going to last them half hour to an hour depending on their interest in it. And that will help them as you leave the house to keep them busy and not even know that you're really gone. And actually when it comes to leaving the house next time, they'll be even more excited because they know they're going to get one of these special treats. And so some of the other um, benefits you're going to have, we talk about separation anxiety and the potty training and sometimes just behavior. You know, if they want to chew on things, if they want to just get into things, you know, especially in the puppy stage, this can be super helpful because this will keep them occupied. This will really tire them out too. So while this isn't an excuse for not taking them on walks or getting them other exercise, if they're looking for something to do, if they're wanting to play games, this will actually keep them at bay. And if you need a moment where they're just going to stay by your side, this is the one for you because it will actually make it where they will stay there. They won't be running off hopefully and it will keep them entertained for you know, quite some time. So you know, if you're working from home right now like a lot of people are or you got kids like we just talked about right here you know, at home and you need the dog to kind of stay and keep themselves entertained, then that's something that you can do right there. Hey guys, I just want to jump in real quick. So I'm literally editing this YouTube video right now and I was like, hey, I have live action going on right behind me in my office, so let's check it out. 
just like we talked about, Blitz enjoying that Kong. You know, the treats in there. It pretty much looks like he's got all the peanut butter off at this point. Hey, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that. So now back to the main video. Um, so with the Kongs here, I have a couple of them here. There are a couple more that you can buy and I'll make sure to link these down in the uh, description below so you can go check those out over there. And um, if you do buy from the link below, I do get a, s a small commission just for referring you over there. It's no more cost to you, but uh, it is something that you can support this channel with if you do buy it through the link below. Um, but we have, like I said, the standard red ones, kind of the, the regular chewers, what they call it. And then this one we got just recently. I haven't even really opened it up. It's actually a Kong for seniors. So old Blitz down here, which he's kind of down here now. Old Blitz, he's um, turning, what, 13? 12, 13? No, 12. No, thir 13. Gosh, sorry, 13. He'll be 13 in September. And... Um, and so this is actually, it's more of a softer rubber. Um, so if either you have an older dog that maybe doesn't want to, you know, chew as much, you know, have, maybe has a little bit weaker teeth, or maybe um, they just like softer things in general, even if they're not an, an, uh, an older dog. Um, so they have this, and they also have a puppy version that's even softer than this one. But most adult dogs, if they actually chew on stuff, the puppy one won't last near as long. Um, and then this one also, if you can tell comparatively, comparatively it's a little bit bigger than this red one here. Um, they do make a, a black, like a super chewer one, but we don't really have them because my dogs really don't chew that hard and most men pins wouldn't. Um, so please let me know in the comments if you have one that, do, that does that. So we've never really bought the black one, but that one is out there as well. Hey, if you're enjoying what you're watching here, make sure to give us a like and uh, give us a comment below. You know, what uses have you used for, uh, for your Kong toys, for your uh, Min Pin or other dog if you're watching this? We do welcome all breeds to obviously hang out with us. Okay, so I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the things you can do. So for most, they have your Kong here, and we'll use this one here. Um, like I said, we talked a little bit about feeding, feeding your dog. Well, if you think about it, if you feed your dog dry kibble, um, now a lot of people will use like raw, raw food diet, so you can use that as well. I don't really have any of that here today, but if you do a raw diet, you can also use it. Obviously, make sure you clean them appropriately if you do that, even more so than what we have today, um, but it is something that you can use. Um, but what we have here is we have, you know, just some dry kibble, and, you know, you just pop it down in there just like so. Now, obviously, like most people know, and common sense tells you, one, if you are feeding a meal, these types right here are probably not the best for a meal, a whole meal, because pretty much, even for Zoe, I just filled it pretty much at the top with just a few little bits here. Um, however, it was, yeah, you want a little something there? So with this here though, what you wanna do, right? Obviously, if you don't do anything and you do this and it shakes enough, the kibble's gonna come right out. So a good thing to do is a couple things. One, you can take this, you can take a little bit of water and you can actually set it down in the water. Water, And when you do that, it will actually, I just spilled some of the water actually. <laughs> okay, focus here. All right, so you can actually put it in the water here and when you do that, it will actually soak it up and it will just give it enough of a mush. You don't have to necessarily make it into like a paste, but you could, I guess, but just enough that it will kind of keep it together and it will put it together. And I would almost always, because who doesn't want a good treat? I would almost always make sure that you take some type of peanut butter. It's usually the best thing. Um, you can also use things like yogurt. Um, I've seen people use cottage cheese before. I haven't tried that one. Let me know if you have. But you take something like a peanut butter, obviously scoop it out here. And really you can just put it down in the Kong here and then you can kind of just brush it over the top. That's always a good one too. Obviously you can just put it all around. Obviously he's gonna like it even more, right dude? He's just watching me so much right here. So. Put that there, you know, cover it up, get down in there. And then the ninja tip, if you didn't know, is that you want to make sure that you freeze them. That's probably the best option because this peanut butter here is going to freeze and it is going to kind of cover the top a little more and then that little bit of water mush on the, um, on the kibble inside will make it where it no longer um, kind of leaks out and it kind of is frozen and it makes it last even that much longer So if you're trying to get those few minutes, especially with your puppy that you're trying to just keep them entertained while you're doing whatever This will actually make it where you can 
keep it in there and it'll keep them a lot longer entertained. So definitely keep that in mind. So that's what we have there. Also, you can put other things, you know, you can put, we have treats, you know, you can just do treats. Um, you know, you have some soft treats that are probably a little bigger, so therefore it takes a little more for them to get it out. Um, but that's kind of what I like to do with, with the Kongs there. So thanks for joining us today, guys. If you've enjoyed this, we have some other videos popping up here around somewhere. Make sure you watch those. We're doing the ones that YouTube recommends for you. So uh, let me know if you do enjoy them. Um, but once again, thanks for hanging out with us. Subscribe. We'll talk to you next week. We're out here. Back to virtual school. Peace out. See you next time, guys.